Okay, people. Yeah, what you are seeing now is one of the stone bridges that had been used in the past, in the ancient times, to cross rivers. So this is a stone bridge found in Tivia of Pulmude. Uh, Tivia is well known for Givihadusaya, which is also the first stupa in the entire world, which was built by two merchants called Tapasu and Balaka. Uh, by uh, putting the hair relics of the Lord Buddha uh, during Lord Buddha's era and I'll tell you about that story when we go to the Gidihanu itself but this stone bridge is now preserved we also saw something similar remember of Mahakanadarava in Mihintale I think a couple of months ago you can see the videos attached to that. There is also another similar stone bridge of Malvatuwe in Anuradhapura. So this is yet another beautiful place as you can see overhead look. Looking absolutely breathtaking. And this engineering marvel of our uh, ancient forefathers is also simply amazing. I'll give you a view from down below also. Right, this is the stone bridge seen from the front or from one end. You can see this must have been one of those very ancient stone bridges. I wouldn't be surprised if this is the oldest because Gidihan to say of this place is the oldest ever stoop in the world. As you can see, there's this notice in Singhala saying Galpalama Atite Gamangat Marge It's a stone bridge which has been used uh, as a pathway to cross rivers and waterways So when you come here please don't climb on top of these things help preserve these archaeologically important places This is the beam towards the other end of the Kalpalam. And I wanted to show you around. This is the rest of the Kalpalam. Right, let's go find Kirihanu Sai Fox. Okay, we are on our way to Kirihanu Sai. You can see this pond is found on our way to the Gidi Handusaya. It's really beautiful. And this is one of the places must have been used by the monks in the ancient times for their day-to-day -day rituals in terms of water requirements. You can see it's now by and large abandoned sadly but this is a substantially a large enough pond uh, for usage of the monks or whoever used this place as a kingdom in the old days if the history is if I am not mistaken this has been used by one of the kings uh, during uh, Anuradhapur era uh, to gather troops and fight the invaders. We'll talk more about it when we go to the Gidihanu and see the beauty from there. Await more details folks. Okay people, this is the story about Gidihanu if I zoom in, you should be able to read this off the screen. But for your benefit, I'll read it out for you. This says, uh, Two merchants called Tabasu and Baluka, uh, 528 BC, had built this stupa uh, because they had been given 
they are relics by Lord Buddha when they met Lord Buddha in India so they had kept it uh, as one of the sacred things and worshipped it wherever they went or when they came to Sri Lanka along the Yan Oya river uh, and kept the uh, hair relics on this stupa called Givikanda uh, they had not been able to take it off the rock which it was resting in order to keep it sacred they had built a stupa around it uh, that had become the world's first ever stupa that had been built in 528 BC and also during 67 to 111 AD King Vasambha had used uh, uh, this place and built this tank called Nitupatpana that is according to the Puja Valiya now there is also a stone inscription with Pallava characters with the dimensions of 20 by 5 feet uh, which had been done by King Silamega during 733 and 772 AD. Uh, so according to the great archaeologist Professor Parvanavitana, those letters are believed to be uh, dating back all the way to the 8th century. And also it's said that during 1055 and 110 uh, AD, the great King Vijayabhav had done some renovations in this place. Well, that's the story about Givihan Usaya. So let's go up and see what it looks like. What you are seeing is one of these uh, ledger uh, rock caves with drip ledgers on the way upwards to the Givihan Usaya. You can see there are drip ledgers carved into the rock in order to stop water seeping inside so apparently this must have been used by the monks in the old days to meditate to live in this is the path that goes up to the Gibihan Dusaya you can see it's stone paved well built we have passed I think two or three such sections and it's going uphill and we are actually not quite sure the height of this gain but from the look of it, it's about uh, 3 to 500 feet in terms of elevation gain. You can see my friends are taking a break up there. So you have these shady areas where you can take it nice and slow. When you are coming here, once again, please don't make a lot of noises and help uh, preserve the tranquility of the mother nature and don't do anything to destroy this nice and serene environment right this is also yet another cave but according to the signage close by here it says there should be a stone inscription somewhere but sadly we can't locate it probably it's not so visible nowadays however we can see some stone inscription just below the ripage of this cave if I were to zoom in you can probably see some writing over here there you go there are some writings which we don't know translate into what sadly right this is the cave complex and this is the entrance area to that right let's go up and see what more we can find right this is uh, the footage of more of the stone staircase that you have to climb up to get to the Nitutpana or the Gidihan itself you can see this is very well maintained and but you can see how steep that is 
that's a long way uphill and this scorching sun humidity is dragging us down you need plenty of fluids when you travel in the dry zone especially uh, during the dry season like this even though it had been raining the humidity is simply unbearable you are sweating buckets and you need to drink buckets right there is another very interesting place close to this place let's go up and see right this is the stone inscription which I told you about when we read the information on that notice board this is 20 feet by 5 you can still see some remains of the uh, those parlor writings sadly there's a board here uh, that must have been done by the archaeology department which tells us what this stone inscription uh, was about but sadly that board had been washed up in the rain so we are unable to decipher what this magnificent stone inscription has been about nevertheless you can see the writings over here there's plenty of it okay this is the Kivihandu Saya at Nithutpana in Thiriyaya the world oldest stupa the first ever stupa built in the world by two merchants called Tapasu and Balluka by uh, installing yeah, relics of the Lord Buddha uh, at 508 BC if I'm not mistaken so which is more than 2500 years ago you can see there is also Watadage built and according to the history there had been many additions and renovation projects conducted by the kings subsequent to its building especially during Anuradha Puriva and also King Vijaybahu uh, during his tenure in Polonnaruwa uh, 11th century has done also some renovation in these premises so this is absolutely breathtaking place unfortunately the sun is working against us the light is so harsh so the footage might not be the best of all but this is Thiria Kirihanusaya for you this is one of the uh, buildings where the monks had stayed so they are called Sangavas or the living in areas for the monks you can see this reminds me of the archaeology sites in Anuradhapur and Polonnaru uh, there are two such places on either side but on this side the ruins are more prominent whereas to my right uh, there is only a small structure which is remaining so this is the stone path that goes up to the Kivihanu Saya and this is one of the entrances this is probably the eastern entrance to the stupa and we came uh, up the southern entrance so western and northern entrances are also there but not heavily used they were probably closed down during the LTT terrorist activities This is another angle of Kirihanu Saya. You can see it looks absolutely breathtaking from this angle because now sun is behind us. <coughs> Unfortunately, there is this big shadow of a cohoma tree falling on top of this uh, rocky entrance, one of the entrance to the uh, main stupa. 
therefore the lighting won't be that great but you can see how wonderful this place looks especially those uh, rocky pillars and the surrounding wall it had been built with such precision it looks absolutely wonderful that's great creation by our forefathers I think this is the best view you can get of uh, this Kiriharusaya. You can see the lighting is absolutely beautiful because it falls directly onto this stone out of wall which is protecting the main stoop. You can also see the royal blue sky and those stone pillars uh, rising up to the sky. I wonder if there had been a roof over this protected from sun and rain nevertheless this is probably the best angle that I took a photograph of this place just amazing sight this is the main Kivyarusaya stoop and if I were to take you around this maybe not all the way because the sun is against us but at least for part of the way you can see how these stone pillars are located all around the pyramid of the stone wall looking beautifully done and there are four Buddha statues in the four corners where people can come into this upper section and where the original stoop is located and you can see some of the stone pillars which had come off are lying on the ground but this is Kiwi Hanusaya and the world's first stoop um, I'm wondering if I can give you a full 360 degree video footage so that you should be able to get an idea of the length and width of this place. Right, let me come into this section now. You can see probably they had the archaeology department had dug into this stoop, probably in search of the relics or to do some carbon dating in order to make sure the actual age of this stoop and I hope this footage stays uh, nice and steady I'm not wobbling you too much um, this has also been used as a shelter by some of the kings and also in the recent past when LTTE terrorists were terrorizing the entire island this place had been sought uh, had been protected by Sri Lankan Navy and other tribes of soldiers okay folks I think this is a good place to end our video journey to TVI here once again all I have to say is please come here but don't do anything to disturb the uh, peace and tranquility of this place. Don't throw garbage, don't litter. Alright, may Triple Gem bless you and I'll see you with another video journey very soon.